For decades, Cummins has been a household name when it comes to diesel engines. Since its founding more than 100 years ago, the company has built its reputation around rugged and reliable diesel power plants. But recently, Cummins surprised the industry by stepping into unexpected territory. Just last week, the company revealed its very first gasoline-powered engine. What makes this even more fascinating is that the new B6.7 octane engine is actually built on the bones of the legendary 6.7 liter diesel engine. At first glance, this might sound unusual, but there's a lot of logic behind it. Modern diesel engines are remarkable machines. Today's heavy-duty pickups can produce well over a thousand pound-feet of torque, offering incredible pulling power, all while still managing impressive fuel efficiency in the low 20 miles per gallon range. That's no small feat, especially for trucks that weigh nearly as much as small buildings. However, diesel's advantages aren't what they once were. Years ago, choosing diesel meant lower fuel costs and unmatched durability. But now, diesel fuel often costs more than regular gasoline, and the complicated emission systems required on modern diesels have made maintenance more expensive than ever. On top of that, states like California are tightening restrictions on diesel emissions, putting additional pressure on the technology. Even with these challenges, diesel engines are far from obsolete. They remain dominant in industries like freight hauling, construction, rail, and power generation. Heavy-duty pickups also continue to rely on them for their unmatched torque and longevity. Still, the question remains, what if there was a way to combine the durability of a diesel engine with the lower maintenance and simpler emissions requirements of a gasoline engine? That's exactly what Cummins is aiming to deliver with the new B6.7 Octane. This engine is designed to run on standard 87 octane fuel while still carrying over the toughness of its diesel counterpart. On paper, it looks like a smart solution that could shake up the commercial vehicle market. Beyond performance, it also opens doors in regions where diesel is facing regulatory hurdles such as California, making it a potential option for motorhomes and other vehicles that might otherwise be limited. It's almost hard to believe that a company founded back in 1919 has never mass-produced a gasoline engine until now. While Cummins has experimented with alternative fuels like propane and natural gas in the past, gasoline was never part of its core lineup until today. Cummins is promoting the B6.7 octane not just as another gasoline option, but as something that blends the best traits of both diesel and gas engines. One of the biggest selling points, according to the company, is service and maintenance. Cummins claims that the B6.7 octane will be able to follow service intervals similar to a diesel engine while still keeping things simpler like a gasoline motor. This means fleets won't need to spend additional money retraining technicians or retooling their workshops just to accommodate this new platform. While Cummins has kept most of the technical changes under wraps, the company has said that the majority of the modifications are in the cylinder head, while the foundation of the engine remains closely tied to its diesel counterpart. From Cummins' perspective, this isn't just a new engine. It's a milestone. The company is openly marketing the B6.7 Octane as the only gasoline engine designed specifically for the medium-duty truck market. They also claim it delivers as much as 10% better fuel economy compared to other gasoline engines in its class. But perhaps the most attractive feature comes down to the emission system. Unlike modern diesels that require diesel particulate filters DPFs, and diesel exhaust fluid DEF, this gasoline variant uses a simpler passive catalyst system. That means no clogged filters to burn off, no tanks of fluid to top up, just straightforward maintenance that feels more like looking after a standard pickup truck. In terms of performance, Cummins is trying to keep the diesel-like character intact. Current figures list maximum output at around 300 horsepower and 660 pound-feet of torque. At first glance, the horsepower might look modest compared to rivals like Ford's 7.3-liter Godzilla V8, which makes 430 horsepower, but where Cummins shines is in torque delivery. With more than 660 pound-feet available, it significantly outmuscles the Godzilla's 475 pound-feet. This is intentional. The straight-six design is tuned to emphasize pulling power over peak horsepower, much like a traditional diesel. Cummins has also been testing different configurations, including versions with 200 HP and 600 pound-feet of torque, 220 HP, and 260 HP paired with the same 600 pound-feet of torque rating. Official numbers haven't been finalized yet, but the idea is to offer flexibility across different applications. 
Compatibility is another key factor. Cummins plans for the B6.7 octane to be paired with the same medium-duty transmissions that its diesel sibling uses, such as the Allison 2000 and 3000 series. That makes integration into existing truck platforms easier for manufacturers and fleet operators. Speaking of applications, the company is aiming this engine at a wide range of vehicles, including delivery vans, step trucks, school buses, service vehicles, and even certain classes of pickups. Kenworth has already signed on as a launch customer, with plans to install the engine in Class 5 through Class 7 conventional trucks later this year. Early test impressions suggest that the engine really does behave like a diesel in daily use, which could give it a major edge over conventional gasoline options. Of course, there is also the bigger picture to consider. Even Cummins acknowledges that internal combustion engines may not have unlimited time left. The B6.7 Octane is part of the company's larger Destination Zero initiative, a long-term strategy focused on achieving zero emissions. This vision balances immediate improvements in internal combustion engines with heavy investment in future technologies like hydrogen fuel cells and battery electric drivetrains. Cummins admits that industries and regions will decarbonize at different speeds, so the company sees this as a bridge technology, delivering cleaner, more efficient engines today while preparing for a zero emissions tomorrow. Now, some critics might compare this move to the 1970s, when automakers like General Motors tried converting gas engines into diesels, often with disappointing results. But this isn't the same scenario. In fact, adapting existing architectures to run on new fuels has a long history of success. For example, Kawasaki has experimented with hydrogen versions of its H2 motorcycle engine, proving that flexible platforms can work really well. Even Cummins itself has a history here. Back in the 1960s, the White Motor Company converted Cummins' 500 cubic inch diesel into gasoline versions for their Mustang 8 trucks. They simply lowered compression and added spark plugs where the diesel injectors had been and marketed it as a gasoline workhorse. The difference this time is that Cummins itself is designing and manufacturing the engine, not a third-party converter. That's why they can confidently call the B6.7 Octane their first gasoline engine. As of now, there's no official word on whether this straight six gasser will ever find its way into pickup trucks, even though Cummins admits the platform could fit. But if the medium duty market responds well, it's not hard to imagine broader adoption in the future. For now though, the B6.7 Octane marks an important step in Cummins' transition strategy, keeping fleets happy with diesel-like power and torque, cutting down maintenance headaches, and laying the groundwork for a cleaner, more versatile future.